Hey there, do you get any complaints from your family members or your neighbors when you're making content? Remember these phrases, Oh, you're too loud. Oh, why are you screaming? Or do you constantly find unnecessary audio inserts in your videos? Birds chirping, cars passing through, or chit chats of your neighbors? Stay tuned to know how to deal with these kinds of events. Hello, this is Freedom Quick Tips, and today let's talk about what you can do to soundproof your room. Most of these tips require materials that all full time content creators must have in order to get an uninterrupted recording session. Let's have at it. So before we go into how we can soundproof our rooms, let's talk first about what does soundproofing mean and why we need to soundproof our rooms, especially for us content creators. Let's get started. What does it mean to soundproof? According to Google, it is to make a room or building resistant to the passage of sound. Well, that's easy to remember. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about why we need to soundproof our room. Here are some reasons why. Number one is get rid of unwanted sounds. The unwanted sounds in our recordings can be a doozy sometimes. It potentially messes the vibe of your videos. Your microphone might catch your neighbors chit-chatting, dogs barking, vehicles passing by, and other unnecessary sounds. Imagine yourself recording your reaction videos, maybe from a game or any clip on YouTube. All nowhere, you can capture thud sounds from maybe nails being pummeled by hammers, maybe cats meowing, or pouring out of a sudden, or maybe loud neighbors talking about their lives. You won't be needing these kinds of sounds. Number two, when making content, you can become loud and might disturb other people. Sometimes we get carried away when we make content. Say for example, you are doing a reaction video of a scary clip with your studio lights switched off and you are recording it during the wee hours of midnight for a legitimate reason. You start screaming and getting startled. That may be an issue to your neighbors and family members. Number three, when you don't soundproof your room, you will not be able to capture the crispness of your recordings. Did you know that sound bounces off objects? When that happens, the sound will come back and reverb throughout the entire room. When that happens, your recordings will sound damp. Like when you are speaking in the bathroom. It might not sound bad, but it's not exactly good as well. Why, you ask? Well, it will have an echo and the pristineness of your voice will not be recorded. Which begs the question, how do we soundproof the room? It might be quite expensive depending on the style of your preferred room, but nevertheless, let's dive into it. Number one, soundproof your room with basic household items. Believe it or not, there are some objects in your house that can soundproof a room. Like number one, create a bookcase. A bookcase can help you soundproof your room where sound does not reverberate out of the room. You know why? It's because it adds mass. The more mass the wall has, the more power the sound needs to pierce through the wall. Make a book collection. It gives you a good place to set your amazing books, maybe even make a good background for your videos. Number two is use long and thick curtains. A thick and long curtain can help dampen sound either from the inside or outside of your room. You can hang the curtain to your door so that the little crevices where the sound comes in or out from the door will be fumbled by the curtains. Number three are rugs. Is your room covered in wood, tile, and other hard material, you can cover that up with a mass rug. The rug can soundproof your room where it can muffle footsteps and absorb the sound that can pierce and bounce through the floor. Pro tip, to add more protection and soundproofing capabilities, insert a thick rug pad to eliminate or reduce the squashing sounds. Now that we know what household materials we can use to soundproof a room, let's talk about other materials that can greatly help you soundproof your room. Number one is acoustic panels. These acoustic panels have varying sizes but to have the max maximum protection, we suggest for you to get the 12 by 12 panels with at least 2 inch depth curve relief. These materials can absorb low to high frequencies. Fill out your room with these materials and you won't even hear anything from the outside of the room. Number 2 is door sweeps. We said a while ago that doors have crevices that sound can sneak right past or into. This might cause unwanted sound to be captured by your microphone. The door sweep helps you bar that crevice on the bottom part of the door. Number 3 is filling air gaps. So you build a thick wall that absorbs more sound for more sound proofing potential, but you see there are still crevices where you can see the outline of each panel. With an acoustical cook, you can seal that up. And for electrical outlets, windows, doors, and other items, you can use foam gaskets. Number four, use thick and dense material. Like with the bookcase tip, you want materials that can have the maximum chance that will absorb the sound. We suggest using the 1.6 centimeters drywall instead of the thinner size. If you want to improve on an existing wall, you should be able to build a basic wall frame and attach the thick materials to the frame. Once you assemble your wall, seal the crevices for maximum sound protection. Do you have a soundproof room? Do you you have tips for us that can help others make more cost-efficient soundproof studios let us know down below before you leave guys you know what to do like subscribe and gong that bell this has been freedom quick tips and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video goodbye